Hi loves, this is Dina. I'm back with my last haul, hopefully for the entire week, um, haul video, I should say. Um, I may do one project share, I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet. But um, this is going to be a 99 cent and a Dollar King uh, haul. Okay, so I also wanted to point out in my last haul, uh, was it, my last haul was a Daiso haul. I had this sitting on my desk and I completely forgot to mention it. This is a little stand. Here, let me move this out of the way, so sorry. So yeah, so this is a little stand that you can use for your tablet or you can use it for one of your phones. Um, it's really cute, it's clear, and it's very, very sturdy. So you just lay your tablet right on top of there, and sorry, my tablet's really worn, I use it all the time, um, or you can put it upward. And I'm sure if you have even the bigger tablets, which are even thinner than mine, this is a more older version, um, they probably hold just as well. So yeah, I just wanted to show that really, really quick because I completely forgot it was just sitting here. Okay, um, let me see. Okay, so we are doing 99 cents. Okay. Here we go. I had picked up some of these little, a little bag of jammies. Um, they have that little iridescent look to them. Not sure if I already own some, but if I do, it's okay because these are so beautiful. I'm sure I will find something to use them on, or if not, I can gift them. So yeah, I picked up just one pack of those. I had found these cute little dolphin paper clips. Oh my gosh. So, um... I couldn't pass them up. I saw some elephants, but the elephant noses looked just—they dis just looked a little distorted. They didn't look—they <laughs> didn't look like elephant trunks. They just—I don't know—they just looked really weird. But so yeah, so I ended up picking up the dolphins. I thought those were really really cute. And in the party section, I ended up picking up these cute little. This is kind of a rebuy in a sense. Um, I bought some of these and, and, and hauled them a while ago and showed them in a video, but they were black. So um, these little sealed with love are really, really cute. And wouldn't it be cute just to put a little kiss? I mean, you can put this on there and then just put a little kiss um, sticker down at the bottom. Like, you know, you're sealing it with love with a kiss. I just thought that was really cute. So yeah, I picked up those. And I ended up picking up these little spoons. They say that they're ice cream spoons. Tony here on YouTube, who is Craft Purge, um, whenever she has these really cute embellishment, embellishment, I can't even talk, I'm so sorry, embellishment um, confetti mixes, she usually puts a little spoon with them. And I thought, oh my God, aren't those so cute? Well, I went on the hunt, could not find them anywhere. So um, I ended up picking up these little itty bitty gold, uh, not gold, I'm sorry. They were silver spoons that I found at um, Dollar Tree. And I ended up altering them and putting little buttons at the end, which were little jack-o'-lanterns, because I put it with my um, witch's brew for uh, my Halloween um, embellishment. And so when I saw these and all the different colors, I thought, oh my God, how cute, because you can just go, you know, it's it's possible that your sequence mix can look, um, you know, have the similar colors to match. So also before that, I also had purchased from AliExpress. I just want to show you this real quick. These are for your nails. I thought this was connected and it's not. This little loop right here opens up and these all connect. And eventually, I guess when I get all organized, I will go ahead and put them all on this little loop. But um, these are actually for fingernails. Okay, so these are what they put the little fake fingernail on. Well, to me, when I was looking at them, they look like little spoons. So I thought, well, these are pretty cute to go ahead and use them for the mixes. So I figured now that I ended up finding these cute ones that have the little um, square tips too, um, I can either use either one, you know, and I can alter these. And if I don't use them for 
um, confetti mixes. I'm sure sometime I'll figure out something to use them for. So I have those in my stash and now I have these. Yay! It's a win-win! Yay! Thank you so much, Tony! Okay, and then I also ran across these bags. Oh my goodness. I don't know if the light is doing these bags any justice, but oh my God, these are beautiful iridescent bags. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Okay, I do have some paper pads that are in this that I hauled. Um, well, I didn't haul it. It wasn't in a video. It was before I started doing videos, but I had purchased some of this paper and it was very, very, very super, super thin from Daiso. It was my very first Daiso trip. And, um, but this is thick. These are thick pieces of paper. Um, or it's not paper, but bags. And they also have like a protective coating on them. So I'm sure if you were to wet them, they would... Oh, I'm creasing them. I'm so sorry. Um, but if you were sure to wet them or anything, they would, the water would probably not evaporate through, but oh my God, they're gorgeous. Okay. So I just want to point out, I got this idea from Josephine. I was with Josephine, um, a few times last year and we were out shopping and she turns to me, she says, D, look at these bags. Wouldn't these be wonderful for our die cuts? And I was like, oh my God. So ever since then, we are constantly looking for bags with different kind of prints, different kind of textures, you know, and so these were a few of them that I found. We cut them up and we use them for different little odds and ends. And then also these little, um, and I want to say thank you, Josephine. And also I want to say these little ribbons. I saved these little ribbons because you just never know. I figured you could just iron them and you can use them for bows. So I pretty much try to save as much as I can. And even these little bottom parts where you cut the very bottom, um, depending if they have glue or not, or even the sides, because the sides are really small in this, on the edges, you can use these for the smaller hole punches. So I just wanted to point that out. So yeah, these are really, really pretty. So I got into the fuchsia, the blue, and the pearl white. Then I also found, for $1.99, I also found this um, Lego tape. And it also says you can use it with Mega Blocks, but um, I, I bought it specifically for Legos because one of my little sugar boogers that I absolutely adore, which I adore all of them, but one of them um, specifically would collect um, little um, Legos that were little characters. And I won't mention his name, Ethan, but... Um, I thought my daughter-in-law, um, being as crafty as she is, hey Lauren, um, could probably find some cute little shelves of some kind and she can line the shelves with these cute little Legos and display his little Lego blocks. And it's so funny, now that I'm thinking about it, here on YouTube, Pretty and Flawed, I mentioned her in my last uh, Daiso video too. I couldn't remember her YouTube name, but it's Pretty and Flawed. She had um, just recently hauled at the Target spot these little wooden uh, little shelves. They have little small boxes in them, you know, like, I don't know, little small boxes. And these would, now thinking about, these would be absolutely cute to put some of these little strips inside these little boxes and then you can display the little Legos. I'm going to have to tell, well, I don't even have to tell my daughter-in-law. Lauren, if you're out there, if you're seeing this girlfriend... You need to go get some of those boxes because I'm going to be either sending this soon or I'm going to be bringing it soon. So I'm not sure when I'm going to have a trip out. I'm, there's when I'm, my next trip's going to be out to California. But uh, with uh, Josephine's help, I'll be out there sometime soon. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. That is my 99 cent store. And then here is my um, Dollar King um uh, Dollar King haul. Sorry. Um, this is a package of just regular chocolate hearts. They're Ghirardelli brand, which we all know Ghirardelli comes from San Francisco. Um, it's so funny. I lived in California for like 24 years 
and I only been to Garrow Deli Square once. Passed it a million times, but only been there once. Um, and I don't even think I even bought any chocolate. But uh, love the chocolate, so went ahead and picked up this package. And I also picked up this um, caramel set. And then I also picked up this strawberry bark. And the reason why I knew about these, I just want to say um, here on YouTube, uh, Coupons Provide had mentioned that she pit hauled these. So I was like, oh my God, she always, she always hauls the most awesome things. So if you can find coupon, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Coupons Provide, go to her channel. She is amazing. Yes, she is. She finds the most coolest items she alters them she paints things she strips them she does all these amazing things and she loves to find name brand items so um she always finds the neatest things in all the dollar stores okay also i mentioned before in the past that i always pick up this poster board now I was in the store recently, I picked up two, but when I was in my store recently, I noticed that they only had a few left. So I said, oh my God, I gotta get at least two more. There's only five sheets in this one. I know that it has been, it has been, blah, how do I explain this? It has been um, called to my attention that Josephine had mentioned to me that they have a 10 pack at Hobby Lobby. Um, but I figured, you know what? I'm there. I'm going to go ahead and pick them up. Um, I don't have to worry about using a coupon. I just go ahead and get them, and I'm fine with it. I'm fine with paying uh, $2.50 for 10 So, yeah. So I end up picking up two more of those. This may be a repurchase. I'm not positive. Um, honestly, I really need to go through my stash and get an idea of what I do have and what I don't have. It doesn't matter. If I do have it, it's fine. If I don't have it, it's fine too. Um, I will not be taking these back. These are some more jemmies. There are more of the smaller size. I know I have the larger size. I have teardrops and I have a couple other shapes. But I thought, you know what? Let me go ahead and pick some more up. So I love the iridescent light it always picks up the light and all those little beautiful colors so I picked up two of those and I had made a video um well a project share that was um a cupcake um and for whatever reason I could not get it to load thank goodness I couldn't get it to load because I had a white little um, pom pom that was going to go on the top and it just looks so stupid. <laughs> Sorry. It just looked, it just looked, it just looks stupid. And <laughs> that's the only one I can think of right now. So I needed the pink. So there's only a couple in here, which is fine. I just needed one. So, um, yeah. So I went ahead and picked this up and it's so funny because I have so many pom poms, but I don't have pink. I have purple. I have green. I have blue. I have red. I have orange, but I don't have pink. <laughs> so and yellow but um yeah so that was just funny so I ended up picking up these pom-poms all righty well I believe that is it I am done video uh, doing my hauls for the week I want to say thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing um if you have any questions just ask uh in the description box or ask in the questions down below and um i'm sorry i'll leave um or i'm thinking do i have any descriptions i need to leave in the description box i don't believe so so i think i'm good but um i just want to say have an absolutely wonderful day and i will see you on the next video thank you so much for watching Bye.